Basically, she went there with a pair of binoculars, a notebook, so at the beginning, of course, chimpanzees would run away because they were scared about humans. But with a lot of patience and determination and bravery, she manages to get closer and closer to chimpanzees. And then she starts to realize that they have personalities. They have emotions and she gives names to the chimpanzees, which at the time was terrible for people in the academic. In academia, they would say, no, you should give numbers. And she develops a kind of relationship with them that allows her to get deep inside their lives. So she starts to describe their emotions, culture. They could fight. They also have a darker side. She discovers that they hunt, that they eat animals, that they can kill each other, Mm. that they have wars between communities. This starts to show that there were very lots of human-like behaviors in our closest living relatives. Until then, we, we consider our great ape cousins to be a very distinct family, very, you know, very different from us. And, and she's able to actually bring humanity closer to the natural world and to our relatives. And actually now, even today, there are many chimpanzee field sites across Africa and we all use names. So we are still using her methods that were so highly criticized at the time.